In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can set a follow-up email for an item or a group of items. So let's take a look at how you do that here. This is the item manager on Seller, which is at manage items. And you can see we've got some products down here. If I click on product two, which is this one at the top and scroll down to the follow-up section of the item properties, you'll see it's got a link in there saying create follow-up email. Well, firstly, uh, we're going to create the email in the email designer. So if I click go into edit mode, so this is where you edit your website. It's also where you create emails. If I click on the at symbol on the left-hand side, and then we're going to create a product email. I call it product two email because that's the name of that particular product. I click on add new, and then click on product two email. It will take me to the actual uh, email itself. And then we've just got the header on the footer here. So I just want to add some other things in here. In fact, I'm going to keep this really simple. I'm just going to put a text uh, area in here. And then we might have some information that we're going to put in there. So you can see it says click here to edit this text. So I'll just click on that text there. And then here we enter lots of information about the product that has just been purchased. So let's say we want, I know it's not very good, but let's say we wanted to send that email when a particular product is purchased. I click on save change at the bottom there. Uh, so that's obviously a really simple email. Yours would have lots more interesting information in there about the product that they've just bought, perhaps instructions on how to use it. Or if it's a consumable such as ink cartridges, then you might send uh, an email saying, maybe you want to buy some more and schedule it for a few weeks later. So if we go back to the control panel here, then if I select product two here, scroll down here, and expand the follow-up section, click on create follow-up email. If I just click on that, now we can now create an email. So information about about product, so information about product two. And then I'll select the product two email there as the email I want to use. So now if we look in the follow-up section on the right-hand side, you'll see there's various other icons have appeared. There's edit, if I want to edit the code in that email, view, if I want to view the email, clicks, if you want to see how many times any links in the email was clicked on. And then there's this arrow here, which is to test the email. It will just send a test copy to yourself, and then you can delete the email there. There's a delay setting here. So this is how long after the purchase do you want the email to be sent, and that can be either instantly at the purchase, so many hours later or days later. That's very powerful. So you can use that to send that email at a time after a particular purchase has been made. So that's how you do it on an individual item. If you want to do it on a group of items, then you can do it by category. So if we go into the marketing, email marketing menu and follow up emails here, then you can see here there's various different uh, sections here. The top two are for abandoned emails and the bottom two are for follow-up emails. So if I just click on create new follow-up email here. So we keep that as purchase, select the products which this follow-up email applies to and you can just choose the category of products that's done by category. I'll choose action cameras. How long after would you like it to be sent? Again, you've got instant hours or days. I'll click on next. Now I realize I the example I did was a bad one because I've just set that up for product two, but imagine if that was for the entire category information information about action cameras and then I'll choose product two email and then you can see down here it shows that when an item is purchased in that particular category then this particular email will be sent and it's got the same controls as were available on the item properties follow-up email as well so if I click on the configure icon on this page as well, you'll see there's some other settings you can do here. You can say who the email is going to come from and also crucially only send one follow-up email per transaction. If, it, if it's likely that you're going to trigger loads of, if you've set up loads of emails, you might only want to send them one particular email uh, on a transaction. So for example, if you had a product-based email, you probably want that to go to them instead of the category one. Otherwise it'd be sent both. And so as well, you can set it to not send the same follow-up email to a recipient more than once. So if they've bought the item from you previously and already received that email, if you don't want them to get it again, then tick that box as well. So that's how you set up a uh, category-based email. There's also a global follow-up email you can set up. And to do that, you simply click on create new follow-up email. 
and instead of uh, choosing a category, you just use any products and then go through the same process again. And that will send a follow-up email for any product that's purchased in your entire store. So that's a way of how you can send a global uh, product email as well. For example, if you're a services company, then you might send an email asking if they need uh, any assistance or anything at a certain time after they've made a purchase from you. But there's loads of other reasons you might want to use that as well. So that's how you send follow-up emails on the seller e-commerce platform.